Here's the project called an Indian Vest, and you will be able to download the pattern for that at PamelaSpreschool.com. For this, you will need to have a paper sack, a, a, kind of a small, medium size. I'll, I'll show you some comparative sizes in a moment. And you'll need some jute or some natural fibers to tie, scissors, hole punch, invisible tape, some markers, and a pencil. After you download the pattern, you can go ahead and trace that onto a paper sack. Let me show you the sizes of the paper sacks that I'm looking at. At grocery stores, you can find a large sack or a medium large sack, and the medium large works much better for the preschool aged children. So if you can get this, that's a good thing. The bigger one will work, but it's more unwieldy. Once you have the hole cut for the neck and a little V-shaped, which will become the front, it's time to polish it a little bit. Do that by cutting the handles off. Your sack might not have any handles, so you won't have to worry about this part. I use these handles for different crafts, so I keep those. As you can see, here's the logo for the grocery store. That's going to be the back, and this will be the front. It also has armholes on each side. To do the front, we want to cut a line down all the way through that seam. Now that we've cut this all the way through, if you would like to reinforce these cut edges, you can do so. The armholes usually are fine but the neck holes might need a little bit of invisible tape. If you want to do that, you just fold this small tape around like that until you have the part that would be touching your child's neck or chest covered up. And you can do this on both sides. You can also do it around the neck. That will take a little bit of time, but it might make it a little more comfortable. It works either way. Now that we've got this, we want to make a fringe on the bottom, and the fringe is an important part of the Indian vest because when settlers were around Indians, they found that the Indians had good methods of getting along with the land and learning how to stay safe, warm, and dry and one of the methods they used was the fringe. As it would get wet and the water would go down their clothes, it would beat up and fall off the fringes easily and would wick down. So the settlers imitated that particular dress item and stayed a lot drier. Now when you're cutting this, you're going to want to do each edge individually and not like this. If you took this and just started cutting through, when you got to the side pieces, they would be a very odd shape. By the time you were done, it might be a little fractured. So do each one in turn, go around, it doesn't take too long. The sack will fold on you. It wants to go back into the shape that it's used to. Okay, we now have a fringed Indian vest, but we don't have any fasteners, so that is what we want to do next. And I like to put tape on to reinforce wherever I make holes so that it does not rip when the children pull on it. So I'm putting it on both sides with my invisible tape and to try and match it on this side. Right there. The holes can be offset. It will still look really nice. like that. Now we're going to put the jute in. 
you can put the knot on the inside or the outside. The outside looks a little bit more rugged. Children that already know how to make a bow or to fasten at the top will enjoy doing their own. Otherwise, that you, you can fasten it for them once they get it on. But we aren't finished yet because the part that the children like so much is the coloring of it. And here's the front. We skipped the back part. But one that's already finished will look something like this. Just take markers and you can put Indian symbols on the front or they can draw rainbows, clouds, whatever they like. Something that they will enjoy wearing and they can take this home and use it as a dress up.